welcome back folks happy new year to you all 2022 soon come round so today I'm gonna to have a go cleaning the greenhouse out at home so I can get ready for propagating seeds and bringing the raspberries so let's crack on and do a bit okay so these are the raspberries these are last year's fruiting branches canes what you want to call them right i know they're last year's because i've had them tied up so these need to come off and we could need to tie all the good canes in so so right the variety is glen magna and these are summer fruiting so let's so just cut them all off down the bottom if there was autumn fruiting raspberries you cut the lot at the floor because they always produce raspberries on the same year the cane comes up We've got to bring me good secateurs down, so using these old things, but better than I think. Right, I'm going to carry on doing this, folks, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I use these little plastic cable ties to tie them up. So what I'm going to do is just tie the, the canes I want into the wires. Trying to just select all the nice healthy canes. Okay, so I've tied them all back in, the ones I want, so I'm just going to dig some of these out. Nice canes, not bad roots on it. I should leave these at the end of the allotment, just so if there's anybody else on the allotment, one of you, they can help the cell. Right, that's how I do my raspberry canes. And also you get these little ones, I just cut those off. Go too close to that plant to dig out. And then that's how I tidy them all up. Right folks, I'll crack on and do this and I'll bring you back in a minute.
Okay, that's tidied them all up. Right, the only other thing I'm going to do, I won't show you doing that, I'm just going to mulch the bottom with some manure, well rotted cow manure, give them a feed, and also it'll stop a few of the weeds growing up. So there we go, that's how I do my raspberries. Okay, it's that time of year again. Need to get the greenhouse all sorted out, ready for planting in 2022. Um, I've got these plants out of the house, Crashula. It's going back in there really, amazing the frost hasn't killed them. I've got a red abutal on there, with a terracotta pot cracked. Um, I don't know what these are called. Uh, we had these when I went to visit with Joe in Sicily. It was in one of his best man's gardens and he goes, the bulb's like an amaryllis bulb, but it comes up like a crocus flower. Plenty there. Uh, Christmas crack toy. I think that's due for the bin. Yeah, so as you can see, got a right load of mess. More like a shed. <laughs> you want to see me shed? Yeah. Oh, and also, so also I've got this. It's an Abutalon Red Tiger. And it's about five foot tall. Got some lovely flowers on it. Had it from one of the gardens that we visited. And it was probably from where my hand is. Probably 12 inches tall when I had it. But I've just brought it in out the wind and the frost, really. They are frost hardy. Yeah, so I must crack on and get this cleaned out and I'll bring you back. Okay, it's been a couple of days since I've washed it out. Start putting things back in. Um, just got all this to clear off. I'll soon do that. And I'll start cleaning all my Agrolan plug trainers. Some more there. So I just need to clean the uh, Voitopod propagators and all in there in bits. I have got, I've got two small ones and I've got two big ones so I need to get those all cleaned and put back in. Uh, I did buy myself last year one of these Chinese diesel eaters to eat my greenhouse so I need to get that set up. I'm watching through a few videos on YouTube about how people do them and because you're supposed to run them off a 12 volt battery but I've bought like an inverter so it's running off 12 volt um, so I need to get that set up got the fuel more trays and pots cleaned out and also down there I've bought myself a grow tent uh, to fit the larger propagator in. So I've got to treat myself then to some grow lights. But uh, I haven't got a clue what sort to get. If anybody out there can give me a bit of a pointer in the right direction. I don't want to buy the right, wrong ones. I look at it like the T5s, the tubes and then you get the LEDs, that'd be cheaper to run. So, 
Also, I had to put a new light up here. Probably wouldn't want to grow a light if I put, I'll just show you, I'll cl click it on. Whew. Yeah, it's, it's a bit bright. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've got water in the old one and it kept blowing the trip and I thought, well, it's getting old and rusty. No, not rusty, it's just getting old. So I've replaced that with a LED one. And also on my diesel eater, I bought an extra long length of pipe because people say the exhaust get hot. So rather than just put the exhaust straight, straight outside the greenhouse, I thought I'm gonna run this along the side of the bench somewhere, I don't know which side yet, I haven't made my mind up. And I thought the heat off the, the exhaust as well as heat the greenhouse. So I thought, save a bit of heat. Right folks, that's gonna be it for this one. Um, hopefully next time you, my video's up, I'll be starting seed sowing. I'm no rush, because I haven't got the heating sorted out and Got to get the grow lights for the propagator. I thought, waste of time starting. So, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing. We'll catch you all next time. Ta ra!